Hi there, welcome to Mary Makes. I'm Mary and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to crochet this alien child. <laughs> this alien child pattern is beginner uh, because there's no color changes mid row and there's very minimal sewing involved. You only sew in like three different spots. I'll take you through step by step in this crochet along tutorial. Uh, remember that you can speed up, slow down, rewind, and pause the video as you crochet along with me. So I designed this alien child pattern back in December 2019 and you can see it here on my old Instagram account that I'm not posting on anymore. Um, I, I did a craft fair in 2019 where I literally could not make enough of these. So if you're somebody who sells a lot at uh, live markets or craft shows or fairs, this is a great pattern for your table. I've, I've never had a show where I've taken any of these home. Granted, I've only done so many shows in the past couple years because of the pandemic, but you get the point. Um, while we're talking about the pattern, I want to show you something kind of cool. Um, so back in 2019, I was still very new to designing crochet patterns. And um, this is my notebook from 2019. And this is, can you believe it, how I wrote the pattern back then. Ugh. I basically just like wrote my stitch counts per row in columns and Anyways, this is all gibberish. It took me a hot second to translate into like real crochet written pattern language speak. Um, but you can find the written pattern um, on my blog and it's listed uh, in the description below. And so let's get to the materials that you'll need. Here's what you'll need to crochet your own alien child. You're gonna need worsted weight yarn in green and brown. Uh, what I'm using today, I believe this is Karen One Pounder and this is a red heart yarn. You'll need a size four millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a clover crochet hook. And you'll need a yarn needle, blunt tip stainless steel, always good. And you'll need a pair of 10 millimeter safety eyes. Here's what they look like and here's their uh, corresponding backs. And you'll need a pair of scissors. And of course, you'll need some stuffing. You can get all of these materials at your local craft store or you can check out my uh, Amazon storefront which is linked in the description. If you make a purchase, I do earn a commission. All right, let's get started. Alien Child is made by crocheting the head, which includes this top part of the robe, then crocheting the arms and the body. The body, um, as we're crocheting the body, the arms are actually crocheted to the body. So when you sew, you only have to do one line of sewing here, and then we'll crochet the ears and sew them on separately. Um, because there's minimal sewing, um, this pattern works up really quickly. I think it usually takes me about an hour to make this, so let's go. Starting with the head, you want to take your green yarn and make a magic circle. So take your working yarn, put it in your uh, non-dominant hand, make a loop with the live part of the yarn going above the, uh, well, dead end. You're gonna take your crochet hook facing towards the ground, go into the loop, grab your live yarn, and rotate it up to the ceiling, and then yarn over and pull through. This creates your adjustable ring uh, slip knot, uh, AKA your magic ring. So for round number one, we're gonna do six single crochet in the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and close the magic ring. For row number two, we're gonna work six increases. An increase is just two single crochets in the same stitch. So here's the first stitch. We're gonna do the first single crochet in that stitch and the second single crochet in that stitch. So one, two, that's our first increase. Here's our second 
increase, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, you should have 12 stitches at the end of round number two. Going on to round number three, we're going to do one single crochet in the first stitch followed by an increase, and we're gonna repeat that six times around for a total of 18 stitches. So here's my first stitch, and here's my increase. And now here's uh, my second uh, iteration of that. One sit stitch and an increase. Here's the third one. The fourth one. The fifth one. And the sixth one. Oh, right. Uh, so I'm not somebody that likes to use stitch markers because I prefer to just count. Um, I'll show you what I do to make counting easier. If you're looking at where your row one is, you can see very clearly where round two starts. So seeing that it starts there, I know that this stitch here is the last stitch of round two, and this is the start of round three. So that's what I'm looking for, and that's why I don't need a use stitch marker. If you, uh, if you get used to seeing how your stitches are stacking on top of each other, then you can save yourself a lot of time. Going on to round number uh, one, two, three, round number four, we're going to do two single crochet followed by an increase six times around for a total of 24 stitches. So here's that first single crochet, that second one, and here's that increase. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that. There's the second repeat. Here's the third. Fourth. Fifth. And six. All right, there is the end of round 20 or round four. You should have 24 stitches in this round. Round five, we're going to do three single crochet followed by an increase all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So here's one, two, three, and then an increase. Two, three, and this is the second increase. There's the third increase, and here we go with the fourth. Fifth. And sixth. So there's the end of round five. You should have 30 stitches in the round. 
Um, all we really did was increase by multiples of six, to go in six, 12, 18, 24, 30, to uh, get to this point. So now for round six through eight, so that's three rows, six, seven, and eight, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here at the end of round number eight. All right, here is uh, round six through eight completed. Um, if you are counting carefully and using a stitch marker, that's great. Otherwise, you can just count the number of rows you have here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Going on to round number nine, we're going to do three single crochet followed by a decrease uh, all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So here's one, two, three, and for my decrease, I'm going to be doing an invisible decrease. Um, a traditional decrease is where you draw, or yarn, or bleh, where you insert your hook, draw up a loop, go into the next stitch, insert your hook, draw up another loop, and yarn over and pull through all three. The, um, the invisible decrease is where you just go into the front loop of the first stitch and then into the front loop of the next stitch and you draw up a loop and you yarn over and pull through two. That way this stitch looks more similar to a regular single crochet stitch. Um, so there's our first uh, single crochet, single crochet, uh, single crochet decrease. Let's do it again. One, two, three, and decrease. One, two, three, and decrease. One, There is the end of round nine. You should have 24 stitches. In round 10, in back loops only, we're going to work two single crochet followed by a decrease all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. So the back loop is just this uh, loop right here. So instead of grabbing your stitch as normal where you grab both the front loop and the back loop, you're just gonna go in and get the back one. So there's one, two, and then for the decrease, I am going to do a traditional decrease where I go into the first back loop, draw up a loop, go into the second back loop, draw up a loop, and I'll yarn over and pull through two. So there's the decrease. One, two, and I'll show you that decrease again. Yarn, uh, sorry, hook into the first back loop, draw up a loop, hook into the next one, drop a loop, yarn over, and draw through all three. And keep doing that all the way around. And decrease. Finally, one, two, and decrease. Okay, so here 
Now we're going to fasten off this green yarn tail. So I'm just going to go and slip stitch into the next stitch and I'll cut off a little tail. You won't real you won't need to sew this tail in cuz this tail will be inside. Um so here's the start of the head. Now to finish off the robe part, we're going to take our brown yarn and we're going to join it and we're going to crochet in all of these front loops that we left uh, uncrocheted. So you can join your yarn however you like to join your yarn. Um, I think the traditional way of joining your yarn is to insert your hook into your loop take your yarn, have it draw up a loop, and then chain one. And this essentially uh, anchors you to that point. Um, I personally am a fan of standing stitches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my brown yarn. I'm gonna leave myself a bit of a tail. I am going to make a slip knot, put it on my hook, and since I already have a slip knot on my hook, I can just go right into this front loop, drop a loop, yarn over, and pull through two, and just start single crocheting. So for this first round with the brown yarn, you're just gonna do one single crochet in each front loop all the way around for 24 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, so there's the first round of our uh, brown yarn. For round number two, we're going to work on top of the brown yarn. So um, we're going to do three single crochet followed by an increase six times around for a total of 30 stitches. Um, I'm using my right hand to kind of tug on the first stitch a little bit so that I can insert my hook here. And I'm just gonna draw up that loop, yarn over, pull through two. So there's my first single crochet second, third, and in the next single crochet, we're gonna increase. So there's two single crochet in that stitch. Do it again. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase. So there is our second row of brown stitches complete. Going on to our third round of brown stitches, we're gonna do four single crochet followed by an increase for a total of 36 stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Put an increase in the next stitch and repeat that all the way around. 
one, two, three, four, increase, 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 and one, two, three, four, increase. So there is uh, round number three completed. For round number four, all you're gonna do is one single crochet in each stitch uh, all the way around for a total of 36 stitches. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here at the end of round four. All right, here I am at the end of round four of the brown stitches. Um, now all I'm gonna do is slip stitch into the next stitch and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off, leaving myself a bit of the tail so I can uh, easily weave that in later. Okay, so now the head is all crocheted. We made the green part and we attached our brown yarn and crocheted the top of uh, Alien Child's robe. So now let's go ahead and attach eyes to this piece. You're gonna take your eyes and you're gonna attach them between rounds uh, seven and eight. So if you just go from the top of your head and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, you should put the eyes in between there. I did make another alien child where I put the eyes between rounds uh, six and seven. So if you like your eyes a little higher like this, go ahead and do that. But uh, for me, I think I like the eyes a little bit lower, so I'm gonna place them between rounds seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh yes, and while I'm placing these eyes, I am making sure that this, like where I connected this yarn and where this tail is, this is the back of Alien Child's head. And um, so once one eye is placed kind of off to the center side, I'm gonna count five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and go ahead and place the next eye. So now that they're placed, and I'm happy with where they are, I'm gonna take my eye backs and just pop them in. When we attach the body with the arms to this piece later, we'll be sewing uh, into these green stitches here. So you can basically just tuck your yarn ends inside. We don't have to deal with those three. We will have to uh, tuck this tail in. So there is the head completed. Next we're going to make Alien Child's arms and we're going to make both arms now uh, because what we do is when we're making the body we crochet the arms to the last row of the body. So there's no need to sew these on later. Um, so going on to the arm right now, you're gonna take your green yarn and you're gonna start with four single crochet in the magic ring. So make your magic ring. And here's one, two, three, and four single crochets. Close it tight. For round number two, we're going to do one single crochet followed by an increase twice. So one increase, one increase. And in the very last stitch of this brown, we're gonna do a color change uh, to 
sorry, in the very last stitch of this round, we're going to do a color change to brown. So there's one single crochet and an increase. Here's my second single crochet, and here's the increase. To do a color change, before you complete that last stitch, you're going to take your color you're changing to and draw it through. And then I just like to work the next two stitches uh, before I tie those ends off. So there's one single crochet in brown and two single crochet in brown. And I'm going to take my tails here. I'm going to tie it off. And you can cut off the green tail. Now that our arm is starting to uh, cave in, you want to take this uh, time here to pop it out. There we go. And actually, I'm going to undo one of these stitches because for our first round of brown stitches, or round number three of the arms, we're going to be doing six increases. So I already have one stitch, or one single crochet in the first stitch. Here is my second one. So that's one increase. Two increase. Three. four, five, and then six. So right now, uh, Alien Child's arm is, it's like pokey here where the green hand is, but here's the sleeve uh, starting. For round number four, we're going to start decreasing and closing the sleeve down. So for round number four, you're gonna do two single crochet followed by a decrease three times for a total of nine stitches. So one single crochet, a second single crochet, and then decrease. I'm still doing my uh, invisible decreases. And we'll do that again. One single crochet, a second single crochet, and a decrease. And one last repetition. One, two, and decrease. There's round number four completed. For round number five, we're just gonna work one single crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, so there's round number five completed. We have nine stitches uh, in this round. Before we finish up the arm, I'm just gonna take my remaining yarn end here and I'm just gonna tuck it all inside. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to pinch this shut like this and we're going to single crochet four across. So since we have nine stitches, we're gonna ignore the first one. We're gonna do one single crochet in both this one and that stitch a second one in these two, third one in those two, and a fourth in these last two stitches. This closes up the arm and uh, gives us one row of st uh, stitches that we can crochet to the body. So there's one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and do a slip stitch and cut off. You don't need to leave a tail for sewing uh, because this tail will end up inside the body. 
So there is one arm completed. Go ahead and make a second arm and I'll meet you back here. All right, here are my two completed arms. Uh, we're going to need these as we make the body. So taking your brown yarn, you're gonna start again uh, with round number one, which is six single crochet in the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. For round number two, we're gonna do six increases uh, and you'll have a total of 12 stitches in this round. There we All right, there's round number two completed. You should have 12 stitches. For round number three, we're gonna do one single crochet followed by an increase all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, there is round number three completed. You should have 18 stitches. For round number four, we're gonna do two single crochet, one and two, followed by an increase all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. All right, there's round four completed. You should have 24 stitches. Going on to round number five, and uh, we're gonna continue increasing. We're gonna do three single crochet, one, two, and three, followed by an increase. All the way around for a total of 30 stitches. There's round number five completed. You should have 30 stitches. For round number six, this is our last round where we're increasing. We're gonna do uh, four single crochet followed by an increase. So one, two, three, and four. Increase. One, 
two, three, four, increase, and one, two, three, whoop, three, four, increase. So there is round six completed. You should have 36 stitches in this round. For round number seven, uh, we're going to be working in just the back loops again. Uh, this is so that we have a nice crease on the robe here um, that makes it easy for an uh, alien child to stand up. So in the first back loop, you're going to do a single crochet. We're going to do four single crochets. One, this is two, three, and then four. Now we're going to decrease just like that and complete the uh, first repeat. You're going to do four single crochet followed by a decrease all the way around for a total of 30 stitches and remember to keep working in the back loops. So one, two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, Decrease one, two, three, four, and decrease. Oh, one more, one, two, three, four, decrease. And one, two, three, four, and decrease. All right, there is uh, round seven completed. We're already starting to uh, curl upwards, which is exactly what we want. For round number eight, we're going to continue decreasing. We're going to do three single crochet. One, two, three, followed by a decrease. And again, I'm doing uh, invisible decreases so that they aren't uh, as noticeable. Two and three, D. All right, so that is uh, round number eight completed. You should have 24 stitches in this round. For rounds nine through 12, you're just gonna work one single crochet in each stitch. Uh, and that is four rounds, rounds nine, 10, 11, and 12. So I'll meet you back here at the end of round number 12.
All right, there is rounds 9 through 12 completed. Uh, going on now to round 13, you're going to do two single crochet, one, two, followed by a decrease. And you'll do this all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Decrease one, two, decrease. All right, there's round 13 completed. We're going to go on to our last round of the body, round number 14. And what we're going to do is we're going to crochet the arms to the body. So we have 18 stitches in the round, we have two arms each with four stitches. So we'll take up four stitches on this side and we'll take up four stitches on this side. And then, so 18 minus four minus another four is 10. We'll have five stitches in front and we'll have five stitches in the back. Since we want this to be in the back of Alien Child, we're gonna start with three single crochet, then or single crochet through both the first arm and the uh, body, then the five in the front, four through the arm and the body again, and we'll finish up with two single crochet um, at the end. So let's do it. Here's the first part, one, two, and three single crochet. To crochet the arm to the body, what you're gonna do first is stick the first stitch of the arm onto your hook like that, and then stab your hook into the next uh, stitch. So you're working your single crochet in both of them. Drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, do it again, two, do it again, three, and four. So now we've successfully attached our arm to the body and this tail is just going to sit inside. Now we'll do five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we'll do it again by attaching the other arm sticking your hook into the first stitch of the arm and then sticking your hook into the next stitch of the body. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then finally to conclude round 14, we're just going to do our last two single crochets. So there's one and two. I'm going to go ahead and leave a long-ish tail for sewing. And I'm not going to slip stitch or anything. I'm just going to pull it through. So there is the completed body. And here's our completed head. You can see what we're going to do next. We're just going to attach the body to the head like this and boom that's like most of your alien child so go ahead and stop right now to stuff it um you can see that this alien child i made is like more stuffed it's almost harder for this one to stand because i can't like push the stuffing up here i mean it still stands this is fine but I think this one that's stuffed a little less uh, just stands a lot better. So just keep that in mind when you're stuffing um, that if it's less stuffed, you can flatten the bottom out easier. And I'm just using a polyester fiber fill. It's 
great stuffing. It just comes in 20 pound boxes and I always buy the big boxes, you know. Okay. I think I want my box. Well, I, I just said don't stuff it too much as I'm like stuffing it like crazy. Okay, that's it. I am done stuffing the body. I think I'm happy with this level of uh, squish. Yeah, good squish level. And I'm gonna do the same with the head now. Uh, you can like peel back, fold back this um, top part of the brown robe so that you can get your stuffing in here a lot easier. And then as long as you just make sure the uh, green stitches are still visible, then we'll be good to go to sew it together. Do, do. How stuffed do I want the head? You know what, I'll just use, okay, half of that. Okay, good squish level for this one as well. So remember with the um, where we attach the eyes, how the eyes are directly in front and this working tail is in the back. We just wanna make sure when we line it up, the, uh, the back to the back that, um, you know, this tail and this tail and like where you see this, this is the back of Alien Child and the front of Alien Child is here. And just making sure those eyes are censored uh, centered. Yeah. Um, pro tip to sewing, uh, take your yarn end, take your yarn needle and push it up like this, squish it in your fingers, and then you can just stick it in your needle like that. All right. So going in here, I am just going to take my end from the robe and I'm just gonna go up through the green stitch that I want to uh, use to align it. So I just double check. Yes, I'm still centered in the front. Yes, I feel like I'm centered in the back. So I'm good to go. And all I do is pick up the, um, pick up the stitch on the bottom and pick up the stitch on the front. And I just do this at the beginning part of the sewing. Oop, there we go. Because I feel like it secures it a little better. After this, I'm just going to go in the bottom and out the top, just lining up the stitches like that. And then when you're sewing like this, this makes it go really quickly. This is just a basic whip stitch where you're just whipping it around in circles. Whip. There it is. And then as long as you're not splitting your yarn, uh, you should be good to go. The nice thing about this sewing here is that since the top part of the robe is going to cover it, you don't have to be like that pretty. Like you, you still want it to be neat. You want your head to be facing the right direction and for it to be aligned, but you don't have to make it the prettiest whip stitch in the world. So I think that's one nice thing about the way I designed this pattern. And uh, we saved a lot of time, I think, because we didn't have to sew on the arms. They were already crocheted to the body. Okay, just a couple more stitches to go. When you get to this point, this is your last chance to evaluate how much stuffing you want in here. So actually, I decided now that we've uh, 
now that we've sewed most of it together, I actually want to stuff the remaining stuffing I have here into its head. Because once you seal this up here, you won't be able to add any more stuffing. Once you're happy with the amount of stuffing in there, let's close it up. Last couple stitches. Oop. Doop. And oop. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and go do another one and just like work on top of the first whip stitch just to help secure it. Whoops. There we go. And then here's what I'm gonna do to tie it off. I just like to make a couple of knots in the yarn here and I make I like to make the knot big. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. So I've added these knots in my string and I'm just gonna send my tail back down and out somewhere else. So that should not come undone now. And then you can uh, go ahead and cut this yarn end off. I think I'll tuck in a little bit of it and then I will cut the remaining of it off. And voila, we have just sewn the uh, head with the top part of the robe to the body. Now all we have left to do is to make the ears, uh, tuck in this yarn end, which I'll actually just do right now, and then sew the ears to the head. To make this, tucking this in as neat as possible, I'm gonna just go into this next stitch and then back into the, uh, the slip stitch I made. This is like, I could have done an invisible join here, um, but this is okay, it's in the back. And then I'm just gonna weave my tail end through the bottom here. I'm gonna go down a couple of stitches. And then back up a couple of stitches. And then you can cut that off. That yarn tail is not going anywhere. All right, there it is. Now let's go on to make the ears. Taking your green yarn, leave yourself a bit of a tail because you'll need this for sewing and then make your slip knot. Insert your hook in the slip knot and we're gonna start with eight chains, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in the third back loop, so the back loop of the chain, if you turn it around, are these uh, bumps here. In the third back loop, so one, two, and three, we're gonna work one uh, half double crochet. Yarn over. I'm going to go into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through three. So there's my first half double crochet. Next, we're going to work three single crochets uh, continuing in the back loops. So one, two, and then three. Next, we're gonna work two slip stitches. So you're gonna insert your hook, draw up a loop, and just pull that loop through the loop you already had to make a slip stitch, and do that again. Now, we're gonna chain one, and on the other side, now, if you're looking at the chain we made, 
there's this front loop and the back loop. We're going to take the back loop again and work in that. What this does is it results in a nice line in the ear, which I thought was like a, a nice little detail. Um, but anyways, in the first back loop, you'll work a slip stitch. Second, another slip stitch. Then you'll work three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then finally, you'll work a half double crochet. So we basically just did the reverse of what we uh, worked going to the tip. And because we worked in the back loop of the chain, and then when we rotated it, the back loop again, we have this nice little line here. Go ahead and cut off, leaving a little bit of a tail for sewing and uh, make two ears and I'll meet you back here. All right, here is my second ear. Let's sew them onto Alien Child. Take your yarn needle, thread the end, and I'm using the end that we just uh, cut off of the ear. What I like to do to sew it on is I like to pinch it a little bit so it has a little bit of a shape to it, like, like so. So I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna go through this uh, chain here. And then that folds it nicely. And then I'm just going to line up my ear with the, uh, the side of the head. So I'm checking the, uh, the arm position and that I'm in line with the center here. And also that I am not too high, but I'm right here uh, next to the eyes. And I'm just gonna, oops. I'm just going to sew using these, these four holes. So they're above the arm in line with the eye. And these are the four holes I'm going to work into. I'm going to go through, back up the ear, through the ear, and then back down this hole up that hole, do it again, Whoop, there, and then grabbing that front stitch and then sending that back down. I'm going to take this yarn end and come out over here. So I like where that ear is positioned. And now I'm going to do the same to the other side. Taking my yarn end, going through this chain here to close the ear. I'm going to match where I sewed the ears. So I'm just going to come down that way. Pick up the ear here. Go back through. Nice. I still like where it is positioned. I'm just going to grab this front here and then I'm just going to pull that into the work. Yeah, I think that'll look better. Okay. 
and I let my yarn tail uh, come out of the spot where I moved the other yarn tail for the ear. So if I, you know, if I pull on this one, you see it tugs on this ear. And if I pull on this one, it's attached to that ear. I'm just going to tie a knot here. So now my ears are attached on tightly. I'm going to tuck it in a bit. There we go. And you don't have to tuck your entire yarn tail through. Uh, I just, I don't know, I like doing this. <laughs> All right, so there are those two yarn tails tucked in. All we have left are these two yarn ends. And what I usually do for these yarn ends is I weave them through the ear just in the back and I try to hide in the stitches so that it's not noticeable. And you also don't wanna pull it too tight because obviously if you pull it tight, it will scrunch up your ear. So here I am working through stitches. Stick that through there. And finally, when you reach the bottom, you can just take it out there. And you don't want to pull this end too tight because, again, it will scrunch up the ear. Just a moderate amount is okay. And I'm going to do the same with the other end. Okay, there we go. Going through the piece, going into the work, and coming out of the same hole the other tail was. And oh, I probably should have separated that into two steps, but it's okay, I can pull my needle. There we go. All right, excellent. I'm going to tie this off, not too tight, because remember, you don't want your ears to scrunch. And then I'm not going to tuck in too much of my tails, I'm just going to get this knot inside and a little bit. Okay, there we go. Move the stuffing around uh, inside of your alien child to adjust it, and voila! You did it! We made this little alien child and I hope this brings you joy and makes you super happy because I, I love making these guys and um, it was so fun at my in-person craft fairs to see these go home with people. So yay! All right, there's our completed alien child. I hope that went well for you. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow along. Comment below if you'll be adding this alien uh, child to your table at your next craft fair show or if you're making this as a gift for someone. Um, remember, your creations are your own works. You are free to keep, give, or sell them. I just appreciate it if you would credit me with the design so that others can find my written pattern and this video tutorial. Well, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and following along. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.